Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. This is the third video in the, in the series of the floor layout. We're drawing that cute little cottage. Um, we are doing right now, I'm going to draw some doors in here, exterior doors in today, and I'm going to show you how to make blocks. And blocks are basically here. You can copy and paste things. You can create, say your art, for argument's sake, say you were drawing a computer lab and you were going to have 35 computers in the lab. You'd only have to draw it once and then you could create a block out of it and then you could just bring it into your drawing anywhere you needed. Architects would use this. There's a lot, companies would have libraries of stuff couches and chairs and and windows dressings and all the and all the different things like that brickwork um anything you can think of you can draw it um the unfortunate part with this is we're using the web version um, for in autocad the desktop version you have a nice library at your disposal and you can bring all these things in the people that are using the desktop version you'll have to create your own library which which is okay because um you know, it's, uh, it's it gives you a chance to, to explore and draw a little bit and, and learn a bit more as you go along. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna, first thing I want to do is I want to go into layers and say, okay, I created a layer for doors, which I already have here. And so I created that. Now, what, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to come down in here and I'm going to draw this door in here. I, the door, exterior door thickness is six inches. Uh, the doors are one and three quarters of an inch thick. And the interior walls are slightly different they're only four inches thick and we'll go over that and we'll go over that again a little bit later but you, the door jam is a little bit different so you wouldn't be able to use an exterior door in your in interior one um, so you'd have to have another one for that so let's scroll right in and i make sure this is this layer is on uh, i'm going to draw drawing to tools uh, i'm going to come in here and I'm gonna draw i'm going to start right there and zoom in now what, here's what i want you to be careful of i made a, this autocad is the web version, there's some glitches for sure. I struggled this morning. Every time I drew a line, I hit enter, the line would disappear. Couldn't figure out why. It's a free version, so there's going to be some nuances like that, and we just have to, to roll with it. Um, the AutoCAD web uh, desktop version, I've never experienced those problems. You do get the odd glitch and stuff, and, and that's just software related. But at any rate, this is free, and so we'll do what we have to do. So I want to grab here. And if, if that's not grabbing, remember to come down to your O-snap and turn your O-snap. I find I turn these on and off the whole time I'm drawing. If it's if the line's jumping somewhere I don't want it to, or it's not jumping somewhere I want it, where I want it to, you can come in here and, and control that quite easily. So I'm going to come in and draw a line from here, right from the edge. Make sure you, you draw it right from the edge. Sometimes it clicks somewhere you don't realize it, and you go out and start drawing, and things look funny. Scroll out every so often. Maybe maybe it'll happen to me right now. I'll show you. So, I want this to be two inches thick. So two inches. Tab zero degrees. Enter. And then I'm going to come down here and zoom out. I'm going to come down. And I should be able to touch here and walk straight out until it's so you see it's locked in at six inches. It knows I want to make a six inch piece, and you want to so you want to hit tab. 90 degrees enter <clears throat> excuse me and there it goes it looks okay <coughs> excuse me so now i'm going to close that i'm going to grab grab this from here to here hit the escape key and take a look at it and it looks nice the last time i did it this was a bit of an angle here um i don't know if it jumped or somewhere but so every so often like i said scroll out and have a peek and say yeah that looks right if you scroll out and it looks like it's on an angle or something just drape, just uh, delete it and, and try again so now i want to draw the jam this is the wooden piece the that would sit against the two by fours and this one here is my so i'm going to take a line tool now i'm going to grab that end the door is one and three quarters of the thick inch thickness so one decimal seven five or one with three over four but I'm going to do 1.75. So grab the, that tool, sit on that surface, but don't click. Just walk down. You can zoom in and see what's happening. Just walk down it, right? So then it's it used to call that a long C back in the day. So grab this, walk down this here, one decimal seven five, one and three quarters. And if you look to the bottom left hand corner. Um, of the of the viewport you can see one i just typed in 1.75 inches enter and you can see it's locked in at 1.75 inches now what i want to do is i want to come out this way 0.5 inches so decimal five inches tab zero degrees enter right now i'm going to escape and leave that i'm going to come down and grab it. i'm going to go from the bottom side and i'm going to walk up do the same exact thing and walk up that way it's glitching you see it's not coming so 
click it again until you get it to work properly. Okay, so one decimal seven five inches. Don't forget inches. Enter again. 0.5 tab zero enter escape and then we're going to take this to line tool again i'm going to go right from here down to here escape and you can see i got my door jam done now i want to put the actual door so sometimes they put them on 45s i'm going to put mine straight up so i'm going to click this line tool i'm going to grab this edge and zoom in i'm going to grab that edge right there and walk up this way and the door is three foot tab and i want it set to 90 degrees enter perfect scroll out so we can see what we're doing go back in again not sure where that little line just came from but we're going to get rid of it it's probably from before now i'm going to go line tool and i want to go here and i want to go this way you can do a couple things actually i could draw a line across here 1.75 and i could come back down or i could come over here and i could do my modify tool and i could go offset and I could click the offset tool and I could say, okay, offset at 1.75 inches, enter. So that worked. This morning, I was doing offset and every time I hit enter, it would disappear. So I'd started doing shift and all of a sudden, sorry, space. And then space was working and then all of a sudden space wouldn't work. So it is what it is. Line tool, I'm going to close that in. Done. Go back down here now. I'm going to close this line tool in as well. Use the line tool to close that guy in. Like I said, scroll it every so often and make sure it looks right. It doesn't look wonky. If it looks wonky, then just delete it and try again. Now, I want to put a door jam on the other side. I don't want the door on the other side, but I want to put the door jam. And rather than drawing the whole thing out again, we can use our mirror tool. So we can just go like this. I need to align. If there was a line perfectly in the center right here, and I said, okay, mirror image it off that line and click two ends of the lines, it will jump over to here. So today, what I was doing is I was drawing earlier today, I was drawing a line from midpoint of here. But when I went over here to grab midpoint, it actually kept on grabbing the end of that line, unbeknownst to me. Then I go to mirror it and it was off and it took me a little while to figure out what was happening. So I came down in here and I turned off the midpoint and, and it worked for me. And I so instead what I did now is I'm going to click this line tool and I'm going to go from the bottom here like that. And I'm going to go over to here. These are construction lines. These are nothing to there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another line midpoint. Now, now it's not grabbing the midpoint. Now I want it to midpoint line tool, come up into here, click, and then walk up this way. Distance doesn't make any difference. So I'm just going to go tab 90. And then I want to do a line down as well. Actually, I don't have to. That line right there should be fine. I can come back now and I can delete this guy here. It's no longer needed. I just wanted a line perfectly in center between this size and this side. Okay. So it's also really important to, to note, let me do it one more time and show you that I'm bringing it not from here, but actually from that to that. And now when I go to draw my line in the center, this guy is the midpoint of the line I drew, right? So I'm going to come up like this, tab 90 degrees, enter. Oh, see, there's a perfect example. It just disappeared. So I've, I found it working around with that rather than doing the tab is just scroll it to 90. And then if you click it, it stays. For some reason, hit escape or enter. It thinks that's an escape key. Again, go back, delete that. Again, this line. So this right here, this line is in the center between here and here, not this front surface. Okay, because that would be a skew. Now I come in here to the modify mirror you tell it what you want to mirror well i want to mirror and this is where a shift key comes in click the first line that one shift key then i want to mirror this guy this girl this person this do and this all right so now you say that's what i want to enter so enter and now it says find your mirror plane. Well, I want to do it across from there to zoom in to there. And it's skewed off. You see it? It's not in the right spot. This is what was happening earlier today. I'm not sure why. I never really have much trouble with this, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's try it again. Now, maybe I'm going to be careful too. I'm going to zoom in 
Is it maybe this just happened to you too? I'm sure it won't on the desktop version, but the web version. And I haven't figured out if it's my graphics card, and maybe there's not actually an issue. It's just the viewport looking funny, but at any rate, it's really lagging right now. Come on, baby. Zoom out. If I let's try this again, select my objects, shift key. Enter. I didn't want it to mirror that that one particular one, but it doesn't matter. Uh, first point. So let's try this one here. Second point here. And now I'm now it's bang on. See? Now it's bang on. Not sure why. Maybe I was off just a hair over here or something like that. Now I'm going to go back and delete this guy because I don't need it. Whoops. I guess I didn't hit the enter key. Eh? Mirror. Or it's doing the same thing as it, as it did prior. You know, I hit enter and, and it just disappears. first point on the mirror plane. So down here is this is where you have to pay attention, right? So from there, so I'm right in. Are you jumping around on me? It's not really, it doesn't really want to grab. Okay. So there it is. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to delete this line here because I don't need it. I think there's two of them. Scroll in and out. Now it inadvertently deleted that last piece there, which is fine. So let's just come back in and we'll draw him back in. It takes only a second. Do, 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 do. Done. All right. So that's the door jam. Now what you should, what you want to see is if you look at the drawing um, that I've provided, it'll, you'll show a swinging path for that door. All right. So let's do that swinging path now just to indicate to the person that it is the door swinging and you can see the door swinging in. It's really important to see the direction the doors are going because sometimes inside there's something sitting there could it could hit it. So there's clearance issues and stuff. So you really want to show that. So now I'm going to grab this to the art tool and this is how you show it swinging in. So I'm going to grab the outside edge here then the inside edge there. And I'm going to walk down to here, and I'm going to grab that right there. And there's my, my door. Now, I think I just looked at it, and I just realized I made a slight mistake, and maybe you did too. I set my door at 2 inches thick. Uh, it's supposed to be 1.75. So not a big deal. I could come back and fix that in two seconds like this. You know, I just it's just something I happen to notice. Uh, here, offset. One decimal seven five. I swear I thought I did one decimal seven five, but maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Okay, no, no worries. Um, draw, click here. So you grab the outside edge there, inside edge like that, and then walk right down here and grab that right there, and that shows you the path the door will take. So there's our door. Now I can delete this construction line. I don't need that. And now we're gonna make a block out of it. So we'll go to our blocks. Now I've already done mine. So I'll just do it again and show you. Create block. Here it says block enter or name. So we're going to name it. Um, uh, let's see it's left hand exterior door. Now it says, where do you want to insert it by? So what you want to do is you want to figure out a position that you can, anytime you go to paste it in, you can use that position. So I'm going to use this position right there because that way I can create another opening somewhere else. I can just click on the outside corner like that, bang, it'll push it right in. So let's use that. Okay, and now it says 
uh, select your object. So it says, so it knows the name of what we're going to make. It knows where we're going to insert it from. Now we have to select the objects. So I think shift key is our friend here. We're going to click the first line, hold the shift key down very carefully, zoom in, make sure you're getting all the stuff right. E down over here and release the shift key when you're doing your zooming around just before you click anything else hold the shift key down again you get in nice and close you know you're nice and you get everything accurate right okay so I've got all my objects you can see it if I've inadvertently selected one you just click it again and it goes away enter and there it is i've got my left hand exterior wall so what i did up here you guys won't have this but i did it i just wanted to show you how to insert it so you take it you right click it insert i think you can drag it as well yeah you can right click insert when you insert it you can see a bunch of different stuff down here base point scale you can make it smaller if you wanted you could you could say tell it the x y and z position to go to the cartesian plane thank you renee descartes famous French philosopher. Um, rotate, explode, rotate. So let's do the rotate. I'll show you that first. So insertion points is where do you want to do it? Well, I want to do it right there. So there I have it. I got a door in. Problem is that door is swinging out. So ah, I want the door to swing in. Well, that's easy enough. You just go undo. Grab the door, right click, insert. And where it says rotate, you rotate it 180 degrees, enter. And then you can come and insert it here like that and now your door is swinging in properly okay so that's how you do it the only other the only caveat to that process and whatnot i was going to show you is so these are exterior doors interior doors would be thinner one and a half inches thick so you'd have to create an interior door yourself so you're two inches here this is the width of the this is four inches wide and this guy here from there because that's the door the edge of the door from there down would be 1.5 from there up would be 1.5 half inch out connect them and then draw your your interior door okay so you'd, and the other thing you need you need right hand and left hand swinging doors right? Because maybe you wanted the door to be the opposite direction. So there would be a, a series of doors. Maybe you would have a folder and you would say door swings and then you'd have all your doors in there. Now the beauty of this, now I should have told you this last video, it'd be a lot faster for you, but you wouldn't have the practice. Uh, you could come in here and you could create it, easily create this as a block and then paste it right here and then swing it over here and paste one here and swing it over here and paste one here. So that's easily done too. But like I said, furniture, all the different things you can do it with. Okay, so this, so the rest of this video, what I'd like you to do is you should have the interior walls all done. And now I want you to take a look. I think where the garbage can was is a, is a door. Surely there's a door in the washroom and you have to be aware of which way that door is going to swing you you wouldn't want to swing that door out into the into the into the alley or aisleway because you can hit somebody so it would always swing in you wouldn't want to swing it in in front of the front of the toilet you want to swing it in against a wall if you can you really look at those kind of interior that's where you come into the interior design thing and start thinking about how how things are going to work okay so the next video when we come back you should have all your windows done your interior doors done the outside walls are finished and hatched and you've created some blocks with some swinging doors uh when you can next next one we'll work on after that after you get that finished